I will not pretend the hard times are over. Difficult days lie ahead. More jobs will be lost. More plants will close. More dealerships will shut their doors, and so will many parts suppliers. But I want you to know that what you're doing is making a sacrifice for the next generation, a sacrifice you may not have chose to make, but a sacrifice you were nevertheless called to make so that your children and all of our children can grow up in America that still makes things. Well, the Democrats' way of running this country is to go tell us all how we ought to make sacrifices. God, they're great on that stuff. <laughs> but they're all going to have us over the hill to the poorhouse. We ain't going to be able to drive over there because we ain't got no gas, so we're going to have to walk it. <laughs> now, let me be clear. Let me be absolutely clear, because I know you'll end up hearing some of the same claims that rolling back these tax breaks means a massive tax increase on the American people. I want my insurance back. <laughs> now, now, Archie, I'm afraid it's not as simple as that. You see, this little code listing up here in the corner indicates you're in what we call an HRN. HRN, what's that? A high-risk neighborhood. What is that? Well, <laughs> Uncle Archie, now let me make this perfectly clear. Where have I heard that before? Let me be absolutely clear. Because you ain't gonna sell me none of your progressive pink or welfare ideas. Now what have you got against welfare? Everything. I am sick and tired of people like you giving away my hard-earned money to a bunch of families who ain't even related to me. Uh, last month we marked the eighth anniversary of the attacks on 9-11. And on that terrible day when terrorists brought so much death and destruction on our sh shores and so many lives were lost, uh, many of you were the first on the scenes, saving lives, working tirelessly to bring those responsible to justice, and guarding against future attacks in subsequent weeks and months and years. And that's your stick-ups in your skyjackers, which uh, if that was up to me, I could end the skyjackers tomorrow. You could? All you got to do? Is arm all your passages. <laughs> you know, you arm, and if he ain't got no more superiority there, he ain't gonna dare to pull out no rod. And uh, then your airlines, then they wouldn't have to chase the passengers on the ground no more. They just pass out the pistols at the beginning of the trip, and they pick them up again at the end. Case closed. Because, you know, it is just wonderful to be back in Oregon. And over the last 15 months, we've traveled uh, to every corner of the United States. Uh, I've now been in 57 states. I think one left to go. Uh, one left to go. Uh, Alaska and Hawaii I was not allowed to go to, even though I really wanted to visit. But my staff would not uh, justify it. And meathead, dead from the neck up. Meathead. <laughs>